Armstrong Powerhouse recently released a sound pack for the Dovetail Games Gatwick Express Class 442 EMU for Train Simulator. Priced at 4.99, this sound pack is part of AP's Pro range, which differs from the standard sound packs in that AP records sounds from just one specific unit and add or improve various features to enhance the driving experience. Armstrong Powerhouse has changed and altered a number of different aspects to make the experience of handling a 442 more realistic. The amount of changes are too numerous to detail here and are better described in the instruction manual that comes with the pack. In order to not make the video longer than it needs to be, I'll try to summarise these new features as best I can. The first thing of note is that in real life, the 442 actually has a four-step reverser with positions at off, forward, neutral and reverse. This is corrected with the sound pack rather than only having three steps in the default set. The train's destination computer towards the top right hand corner of the cab has been made semi-functional. To cycle through the destinations, click either the 2 or 8 keys. The destination is then displayed in the computer screen. The in-game time is also displayed on this screen. The destination indicator can still be changed by using CTRL plus 5 or 6 simultaneously. The train now also has independently controlled head and tail lights that are operated with K and H respectively. I and L still operate the interior cab and instrument panel lighting. Another major thing of note is that when this pack is applied, the handbrake and driver reminder appliance are switched on by default, so you'll need to disengage those accordingly with the Y and slash buttons respectively. If you try to apply power with a handbrake applied, an alarm will sound. This pack accurately simulates the camshaft system of regulating power which was commonly used on DC EMUs such as the class 442 until the 1980s. In the case of the 442 there is a set of 14 resistances which progressively cut out when powering up so as to control the current going through to the motors. The class 442 also employs two kinds of braking systems and these are the electro pneumatic brake and the auto brake. The EP brake is the preferred brake to use. It operates between 0 and 50% on the train brake handle and provides a graduated release, which means you can release the brake without having to move back to release, but by simply selecting the position on the train brake handle proportional to your desired brake force. Listen out for the relays making a clicking sound when an EP brake application starts and ends. The auto brake serves as a fail safe if the EP brake is non operational, but you can still use this in normal circumstances if you wish. Like the EP brake, it also operates between 0 and 50% on the train brake handle and behaves very similarly. The main difference, though, is that if you wish to partially release the auto brake, you must move the train brake handle to 0% and then back away from 0% as soon as you wish to hold the application. Another notable feature with the pack is driver only operation. 
In recent years, the Class 442s have operated services between London and Gatwick Airport without a guard. As a result, the drivers need to control the doors themselves. To open the doors, press T, and to close the doors, press R. You can only close the doors when passenger loading times are complete. Press CTRL and R simultaneously to enable guard operation and when passenger loading times are over, the doors will close automatically and the guard will give you the right away signal with two bells. In the cab, you can tell when the doors are closed when the interlock light illuminates. The train will not take power whilst the doors are open. The sounds used for the train in this pack were recorded from a number of Class 442s based at Lover's Walk Depot in Brighton, unlike the default sounds which were recycled from the Portsmouth Direct Line Class 455 DLC. The default sounds are quite frankly a mess, they are very buggy and are not a good representation on how a Class 442 sounds in real life. In the cab, you don't really hear the traction motors at all, only the smooth and superb running sounds of a rolling stock, and these give you a great sense of speed. There have been a minority of complaints on the forums regarding the volume of the traction motors from the cab, but this is prototypical of the 442s, and if you watch the Weymouth to Waterloo driver's eye view from video 125, you will find that the sound bank is being as true to the train as possible. For those of you who like to listen to the traction motors scream at high speeds, the external sounds should fill that gap for you. Just like the internal running sounds, these give you a great sense of speed. AP have also added some proper fading effects, which rectifies the issue of a player being able to hear the running sounds of a train from over a mile away. There are a couple of minor issues with certain sounds that are either missing or not playing at all. Firstly, on the internal passenger view sounds, the only things that you can hear are the horn, which is as clear as it is from the cab, and some basic wheel clatter over the track. There's also no sounds from the air conditioning unit either. The second issue is that you cannot hear the train wheels clatter as they cross over points or jointed track from the MLC passenger view. I don't find these issues to be much of a bother and I'm sure that AP will be able to fix these issues in a further update. AP have also added some extra features such as the wavering animations to the speedometer needle and extra camera positions in the cab. I particularly like these angles that give you the full driver's eye view effect. From these angles you can still hear all interior cab controls so you won't miss any of the automatic warning system or driver safety device alarms. All AP sound packs come with a scenario, and the one that is supplied is based off a real timetable service from Victoria to Brighton. There are a few items of payware from Steam needed in order for this scenario to work as intended, although they are not required to make the sound pack work properly. This is just something extra for those of you who want to get the most out of a pack. All of AP scenarios are greatly detailed and this one is no exception. It features adverse signalling and realistically timetabled AI trains. Overall, I fully recommend this sound pack and I do think that it is worth buying at full price if you haven't already done so. AP always goes the extra mile with these packs and they always give full attention to detail. This pack greatly improves over where dovetail games always seem to fail with their default sounds, 
and the AP sound pack provides a good representation on how a class 442 should sound in real life. This is the end of my review and I hope that you have enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and take care.